Topping off our morning rush, recreation cannabis sales are now legal in the state of New Mexico. New Mexico becomes just the 18th state to legalize recreational cannabis. Licenses have been issued for nearly 250 locations, many of them planning to open for recreational sales this morning. Well, the R Green Leaf Dispensary in Las Cruces was ready for sales right at midnight. They say that Jeremy Sandoval made the first ever legal purchase of recreational cannabis in New Mexico. People could be seen waiting in line outside the store as early as 6.30 last night. As the rest of the state opens up sales, the city of Roswell will not. Industry leaders say the city's rules are just too strict. The city of Roswell does say that they have eight shops that sell medicinal marijuana that could add sales of recreational marijuana. Using cannabis in public will still not be allowed, and people who do can get fined $50 as at stores. Customers will still be limited to buying two ounces of regular cannabis, 16 grams of concentrate, and 800 milligrams of edibles at a time. There's no limit on how much someone can have at home out of public view. Eric. All right, well, our next big weather maker is here right now. We're seeing some scattered rain and snow showers moving through Sandoval County and into the higher spots. The city of Albuquerque's Department of Arts and Culture is ready for the public to re-meet the chemo theater. Today from 4 to 7 p.m., visitors can experience all of the renovations that have taken place over the last two years. Improvements include new roofs, updated technology, among other upgrades you'll want to see. We are still six months away from the balloon fiesta, but only hours away from ticket sales happening this morning. Now at 9 a.m., a general admission, park and ride, and music fiesta tickets will be available. General admission will run $15 this year per person. New Mexico health care workers are getting some financial help from the state. Until May 1st, the Higher Education Department is taking applications for the Health Professional Loan Repayment Program. Health care workers must commit to practicing in an underserved area for at least two years to qualify. Eric. Well, a 4 out of 10 for that Metro Thread Index, mainly for some stronger afternoon winds and a couple of afternoon showers there as well. Happening today, high school and college students will be able to see the state's legal system in action. It's part of the New Mexico Supreme Court's Rule of Law program. Students are invited to watch as attorneys and justices talk about a case involving livestock theft. Looking ahead for you this morning, a celebrity is coming to, Mexico, to New Mexico to help open up a state-of-the-art school. C-Tech on the Hobbs High School campus is getting ready to hold a grand opening, inviting the public to check out the new $47 million facility. Joining that group to cut the ribbon will be Mike Rowe, host of Dirty Jobs. A 64-year-old woman in Illinois is now getting ready to compete in a figure skating championship. Cindy Krause is preparing to compete in the U.S. Adult Figure Skating Championships in Delaware against skaters of all ages, most of them younger. Krause says that she has no plans to retire from competitive figure skating. Eric. All right, let's get a look at that morning drive. Maps are pretty clear, at least here in the metro area. The tracker is headed west right now on I-40 near Carlisle. Not too bad this morning, guys. Not bad of a drive. Yeah. We're so in number five here. We're still six months from Balloon Fiesta, but only hours away from tickets going on sale this morning at 9 o'clock a.m. General admission, park and ride, and music Fiesta tickets will be <laughs> available. Excuse me. <clears throat> General admission will run $15 for this year. And for those seeking a more decadent experience, Fiesta is also offering glamping packages, which run between $1,500 to $2,500. And number four, the city of Albuquerque's Department of Arts and Culture is ready for the public to re-meet the Chemo Theater. Today from 4 to 7, the historic downtown landmark will open its doors for visitors to experience all the renovations that have taken place over the last two years. Improvements include new roofs, updated technology, among some other upgrades. There will also be self-guided tours, food and drinks, and new artwork. Number three, it's going to be another windy afternoon out there for us, especially east of the mountains. Some morning light showers, and that will be moving east through the day. And number two, today recreational cannabis sales are now legal in the state of New Mexico. As the rest of the state opens up sales, the city of Roswell will not. Industry leaders say that the city's rules are too strict. Here's some details. The city says that it got the first round of applications to sell just last week. Those applications are submitted to the committee and city council. It should be a six-week process if things go smoothly. The city says that it hopes to have the first applications completed by May. City officials say that there are eight shops that sell medicinal marijuana that could add the sales for recreational use. Well, finally, number one for you this week. This morning, New Mexico becomes just the 18th state to legalize recreational cannabis. Licenses have been issued for nearly 250 locations, many of them planning to open for recreational sales this morning. Las Cruces opened up just after midnight. They were first to make a sale.